Hi everyone, happy Saturday. This is Davin with Davin D Doodles and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've had a great week and that your weekend is going to be just as awesome. But I do want to go ahead and throw out there that this is something a little bit different. This is not my style. This is not even my own original characters. These are characters, well, this is a character from Nickelodeon's Avatar The Last Airbender. I have only recently started watching the show. I'm a few episodes in, but I absolutely love it. I love Aang. He reminds me very much of one of my own characters, and I decided that I wanted to draw him and color him. I wanted to do it in the Nickelodeon style. I wanted it to be true to the character and to the art style that they have. And so honestly, I just googled the images, I drew it up, and I wanted to color it. That's what I really wanted to do was just kind of color it. So. I used my new B paper sketchbook and I got to work. As you can see, I started off with a really rough sketch. I went ahead and I inked it in and then I started with the coloring process. And it was a little bit difficult to do because I wasn't sure he was a pretty pale kid and he wears pale colors. I was afraid it was going to wash him out, but that's how he looks. So basically I just had my phone on me, I did a lot of comparisons with the colors, and I kind of just let myself go crazy to see how much I could layer and see how close I could get it to looking to the real thing. So I did just want to put that out there that this is obviously very heavily referenced. I just kind of threw Momo on him, but I mean you can google any image of Aang riding an air ball and you're going to see something that looks like this. So I was just trying to use it for practice, just putting that out there for everybody. So it was actually a lot of fun to do. I kind of let myself go. I wanted to experiment with the colors. I was using two different types of alcohol markers and I really just had a lot of fun with it. Um, I do like Aang in general. He's very carefree. He's very, oh, what's a good word for him? I don't want to say dumb because he's not dumb. He's actually pretty smart when he wants to be, but he's very carefree and he just has a lot of fun like that seems to be his priority because he's a 12 year old boy so that is just how it goes <laughs> and i like watching the show because it definitely influences and encourages my own character a bit because i don't have children so i'm always wondering is this really what a kid would do would a kid actually be this selfish would a kid be this you know dumb or naive and after watching Aang half the time, it's like, yes, yes, he would. <laughs> this is totally fine to do in my story. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. And I think I'm actually going to continue and do like a couple other characters at least. I know that there's one coming up in season two I can't wait to meet, but I do like Katara and Sokka. They have a very good brother-sister relationship going on. And I'm sure Zuko eventually doesn't become as annoying as he is right now. So I'm kind of interested to see how he evolves as a character. But as for the picture itself, I really enjoyed figuring out what I could do, how I could push the colors, how I could mix the colors and layer them. I think this is probably one of my more successful, if not the most successful, I've been with my alcohol markers in a very long time. This is certainly the happiest I've been with the skin tone that I'm able to achieve. And although I wasn't quite as happy with his lemur Momo, um, I really had to work with what I had and I didn't have the correct color for his fur. So I tried to make it work. I definitely love how Aang, his air ball, and everything else came out. And I'm really proud of it. So I'm just going to put that out there. I'm extremely proud of this one and I... I'm so happy I finally did it because I've been wanting to do fan art for a very long time. So there's that, but the background definitely gave me some problems. I wasn't sure what color to make it. I wanted to kind of keep it true to like the airbender colors, which are yellow, but obviously he wears yellow. He wears yellow and he wears orange. I even tried to do like a darker yellow but you just wouldn't have seen him. He would have completely blended in. He wouldn't have stuck out at all. And so I figured in the end, the best thing I could probably do was use colors from the air ball for the background color and just use the airbender colors as like the border because now you can see him, now the attention is on him and 
I mean, I had to kind of confer with a few people because I was not confident in that decision at all. I was afraid it just wasn't going to look right. And I didn't want to do a scene this time. I literally wanted it to be like his character in the middle of a frame, just kind of like a little dedication, fangirling thing. So it's much more simple than what I usually do, but I actually like it and it doesn't feel like it was that simple when I consider how much I put into the coloring itself. So I'm learning a lot by doing small exercises like this and I highly encourage other people to do it, even if it's just out of coloring books. Every little thing you do to try and improve helps. So now that the art stuff is done, I do want to say that everybody that has the news is probably looking at the storms in the Gulf right now. There is one that is currently, I think it's down towards Belize and it's supposed to curve right up and from what I understand, it's got a track headed straight towards Houston. That's problematic because I live in Louisiana and I'm not so confident that's not going to nudge a little to the east and head our way. But either way, there's another storm right behind it that's going to be hitting Florida and then go into the Gulf and then head right up towards the Panhandle in Alabama and those poor people get it all the time. So I do want to take a small break here and say that I'm not sure what my video posting is going to look like next week. We could very well be affected by the storm. We may not get anything. But it is really important to me because I know people that live in the Gulf area that's going to be affected. And I know people that may be subscribers may also be affected. So I really just want to stress, please stay safe, be prepared, and be ready for whatever is going to come. I don't want you guys to like have any issues with flooding or not having your hurricane preparations because I kind of need to go buy some stuff myself, but please, please, please stay safe, stay dry, and just be ready for whatever comes because it's weather, nothing is ever set in stone. So now that my little, you know, PSA is out there, please everybody let me know that you're okay during next week. Just kind of check in with the video or just message me on my Facebook app because I always worry about other people that get affected by these storms. Even if they're small, the amount of flooding that can come from them is often detrimental, even though the winds themselves aren't very high. So thank you so much for watching the video. Please stay, stay, stay safe and I will try my hardest to have updates for you next week.